Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to potentially remedy the issue of your motherboard not flashing with a USB flash on your MSI, Gigabyte, ASRock, or any other motherboard. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of the reasons why you potentially may not be able to flash your BIOS on your B550 or B450 motherboard, or maybe a different board with your USB stick, if you're trying to do one of those push button flashes. So various companies have different reasons why it won't work, but essentially it all boils down to a very similar problem, which uh, we've seen over numerous times now, and we've seemed to have cracked it, so hopefully this will work for you. So essentially the problem is, is the fact that the USB stick is not recognized. Now, a lot of people were thinking this was down to originally down to the actual drive itself, the capacities, all that kind of stuff. But actually what it seems to be is more the remnants of how the drive's been used. If the drive is brand new, fresh out of the packet, generally it's gonna work first time. But if it's a slightly older drive, maybe it's been formatted a few times or used for various different applications, potentially bootloaders, BIOS things, all those kinds of stuff, it can cause issues. So what we're gonna to do today is show you how to actually hopefully prevent this drive from not being recognized by your USB flash system. Now again, this is gonna cover most Gigabyte boards, definitely MSI, we've uh, confirmed it on that, and obviously there are other boards out there which use a similar process. So essentially what we need to do is make sure that this drive is formatted to the MBR format. Now quite often, if it's done in Windows, they can be GPT, if it's UEFI and all that kind of stuff, you really don't need to know why or how, but essentially what you need to do is fix it. So we're going to do it via the command line, so if you're not overly familiar with the command line, I'll put the instructions actually in the video description, so basically you can copy and paste them into the command line when it's ready. So first thing to do, we've got our drive, so this is a SanDisk drive, this is our SanDisk Ultra I think it is, or Cruiser, again I'll put it in the video description so you can see what it is, and we'll stick the drive in. So normally what you do is you download the BIOS, put it onto your desktop, and then you'd get your drive ready, you'd format it. Now formatting generally will do the trick, so what we can do is we right click on the new volume, we're going to format. Normally this will do the trick, so resetting device defaults is very important, so you can click on restore device defaults, choose FAT32, which is the default, it needs to be FAT32 for all the manufacturers, and then you can just do a quick format. Generally, once you've done this and it's erased the drive, it should be absolutely fine, but sometimes, it doesn't always work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the command line. So what we need to do is type in CMD and right click and choose run as administrator. When you do this, you'll get a pop-up box on your screen saying that you need to uh, authorize the user account control. So just click yes, and then you'll get the command line come up. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do, now we've got our command prompt up, is type in disk part. So D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T and hit enter. And now what we need to do is actually kind of work out which drive is which. So obviously your computer's got a drive in it, you may have other drives connected. Ideally at this point, if you've got any other USB drives, good time to actually disconnect them when we're trying to do this. So the next thing to do is to uh, find out which is which. In order to do that, you type in LISC and then a space and then disk, which I just forgot. So LISC disk and then it'll tell you the disks that are actually on your system. So we're showing disk zero online, which is 238 gigabytes, which is essentially our main drive. And also it's showing disk one, which is showing 28 gigabytes, which is our 32 gigabyte drive, which is the USB. So the next thing to do is to choose the disk. So we're gonna type in select and then disk one. So that is telling this part that we wanna use the USB drive hit enter, and it says disk one is now the selected disk. Now obviously, this program can erase data, so do be careful that you're actually doing it on the right drive. Don't erase your Windows drive or your games drive or anything like that. So if you're not too sure, stop, back up, and take some time, obviously watch this and go through it step by step. Then when you feel confident, do it. If you're not too sure, then we've got a Discord chat server, and we'll gladly sort of take you along and maybe do a screen share and guide you through this. So anyway, back to our disk part. So the next thing we'll do, we've got our selected disk. So the simple thing to do now is just type in clean. So we'll type in clean and hit enter. And it says there, disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. So essentially what this is doing is 
wiping the disc cleaning it entirely and removing any sort of disc structures all that kind of stuff whether it's gpt mbr etc so what we want to do now is to create a new mbr structure to the actual drive so what we're going to do is we're going to type in convert then a space then mbr for master boot record and hit enter and there we go this part successfully converted the selected disc into mbr format so now what we can do is right click on the windows flag and choose disk management and in disk management we'll find our disk which is our disk one as it was in this part earlier and it says there 28 gigs unallocated so what we can do now is right click on that section and choose new simple volume and the welcome to new simple volume wizard will start uh, basically i'm going to choose the entire size of it and assign a drive letter we'll call this drive letter e and you've got the option to give it a volume label Generally, I find this works better if you don't have a volume label. And also, we need to change our file system to FAT32. That is very important. And perform a quick format. So once you're happy with those settings, click Next. And it basically gives you a rundown of what it's going to do now. When you're happy that it's going to do what you need it to, click on Finish. And there we go. There is our blank drive with a fully restored MBR boot sector. So now, Pretty much every single BIOS flashing utility in the marketplace at the moment should recognize this without any issues whatsoever. Obviously, make sure you put your BIOS file on there, ideally just the BIOS file itself. If it's a gigabyte one, rename the file gigabyte.bin. If it's an MSI one, obviously name it msi.rom, etc, etc for the various different vendors. So this is a really good way of preparing your USB drive. Some of you may think, well, I've already formatted the drive, it should just work. It doesn't always, so it's definitely worth trying this before you uh, go through the hassle of RMAing your board or uh, start calling up support people. So hopefully this has been interesting and informative to you, and hopefully it's going to help some of you as well. If it does, then don't give the video a like, and also if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the channel icon, and you'll be notified of future video releases. So with that, I've been Mike. This is Mugs Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video for our Discord. Thanks for watching.